In this video, I'd like to explain the holographic universe. There's so many ways I can explain that and that it's holographic. It just trying to put it into words that you can understand. First thing is when you look around, I used to see this when I was a kid and I talked to many other people, I do hypnosis, talk to thousands and thousands and thousands of people and they explain these same things. What you'll do when you look around, you'll see tiny little crystal dust floating in the air. When you first wake up in the morning, just open your eyes and then close them again. And you should be able to see grids. Now the grids have changed uh, say to what they were a few years ago. A few years ago they were a honeycomb shape, a big honeycomb shape, bigger honeycomb shapes. But that density has been removed now. So now there's more um, a grids with a smaller honeycomb shapes and, and tiny honeycomb shapes. And what I'm explaining uh, by explaining that, it's like there's a fourth and fifth dimensional reality, a, a more and more fifth dimensional reality, and three dimensional reality is totally gone. Now, the other many parts about the idea of a holographic universe is uh, many people explain lots of different things, and I'm going to explain it from some different points of view here. Um, one thing that I've learned to do is hypnosis. I do hypnosis with people. Now reading uh, some books, uh, you can search YouTube, Dolores Cannon. She has about 18 books explaining um, uh, her findings of people under hypnosis. Now, you have to understand that the universe is a holographic amusement park and it's meant for us to have fun. What we really are under hypnosis you'll find that we've all lived um, like endless lives and endless shapes and endless universes that goes on and on. The fact we are all eternal beings and we all uh, you need something to do. So basically um, well, just being here, we are creating the universe. You know, whatever experience we're in, we're adding to the collectiveness of our experiences. So, experiencing in the universe, we are co creating it at this moment. The other idea of a holographic universe is there's so many different aspects to creation. The holographic universe is, that's endless, but there's many, many other ways to um, feel and uh, experience uh, creation. I've basically gone through extensive hypnosis and I'm an awake Arcturian, eight dimensional Arcturian. And I remember so many different aspects of creation and uh, one of the constant things is that everything is always changing and this changing it always keeps everything becoming from becoming boring and stale so you just have to experience the now moment and how wonderful the experience is now I have many other videos explaining many other things of like manifestation but the the feeling creates the reality uh, I have a video explaining manifestation and how this is done um, it's my own independent uh, way of uh, explaining everything. But there's also a really good movie on the internet called The Secret. And this, uh, the foundation of the movie The Secret is a guy called Abraham Hicks. He wrote a book many years ago called The Law of Attraction. And this book is about uh, Esther Hicks, uh, Abraham Hicks' wife, and, and other people who uh, wrote these books. Different perspective. I would add my own little perspective to the whole thing. But what comes down to the fact that because this is a holographic universe, we essentially create our own game as we go. But we're creating the game within certain um, conditions. Uh, 
within certain parameters of each universe, you can have a color universe, a crystal universe, a fluidic universe. Ours is actually probably the most advanced universe ever in creation. So many different things combined into one. But what we do is um, the feeling creates the reality. So within certain densities, which I explained in another video about a dimension or different densities of light energy. And in, within these parameters, we create our reality. Basically, uh, sometimes when I get higher dimensional, things are almost instantaneously, instantaneous when I create stuff. I touch stuff, I look at something, it was there now, it wasn't there now, it's there. It's, it's more instantaneous. Now, there is a time delay, which is a very good thing to have a, quite a time delay. Otherwise, you could think about something and you could create things and you could un, uncreate things. So you need time to think about things and think, is this what I really want? And to have time to prepare for what it is that you are manifesting and create, creating. Now, the other part of scientific point of view here, there's a couple of ways to prove a holographic universe. First is Dr. Royal Reif, he invented a thing called the spectrometer. And what he proved with the spectrometer is that everything has its own light energy frequency. And everything is light energy. But he also invented a thing called bioresonance healing where you heal everybody with uh, just light frequencies. This also happens with um, homeopathy, uh, naturopaths, whatever. Homeopathy creates something by giving us little signal which then creates the, the signal for something to manifest, like um, doing um, instantaneous healing, you know, um, which we all can heal each other, we can keep ourselves young, I use hypnosis all the time uh, to focus on uh, re like regeneration and keeping myself young. Um, so this is um, just something I want to explain about um, the holographic universe. and. One last thing to really explain how you manifest within the holographic universe is um, when you go into, say, in a, especially I'm, I'm in Canada here, in southern climates, it might be harder to understand this, but uh, so often in these northern climates we have a lot of snow in the wintertime. And driving conditions, you, you know, throws you in the ditch, you get stuck, you know, you got to deal with it. What happens oftentimes you get thrown into skids and stuff, right? When you hit a patch going, and you start going into a skid. Now what happens when you start going into a skid like this, like this, like this, and science has proven this. I have a brother-in-law who's a famous race car driver. And all these people will prove to you that wherever you look, that is where you'll end up. So whatever happens, you go into a skid, you look straight down the road and just keep there. No matter what happens, you keep looking straight down that road and you'll end up going straight down the road. But if you look left or right, that's where the car goes. What happens is, with watching the movie The Secret or my video about manifestation, you'll understand that it is the intensity of the passion of the feeling that creates the reality. So this is how you're able to recreate and come out of a skid, and this proves that. Uh, how we manifest within a holographic reality because how else could we have done such a thing unless everything is energy and what kind of energy is it? Well, it's light energy but how can we shape and do things and function and how come it's all here? Well, that's because we are co-creators in, in sharing everything that we create and this is also the idea of heaven or God is the idea of the all that is everything is connected and shared. You can't have anything more than the all that is because it is all the all that is. Everything shared and connected. So now if you imagine if you if we could all tap into which we all know how to do this anyways. We, we're all eternal beings. We've been around forever and ever. But you forgot when you're in the it's earth density. But imagine yourself now and you can all connect to this. Connecting to the everything the all that is it's the most amazing thing because it's everything the all that is and the idea of love is the fact that we all want to share and build and appreciate the everything the all that is 
because it keeps us from becoming bored, but it keeps keeps us entertained, and we keep feeling all the shared love, which is such an immense feeling. So, anyways, this is my explaining the holographic universe. Um, go on and on about lots of other stuff. Other, you know, go on the internet. Other guys explaining some ideas of science about the whole thing. Um, but you can check out my many other videos about manifestation, higher dimensional law, uh, how to be telepathic, manifestation, the messages in crop circles. I can explain many aspects of about uh, the future of uh, higher dimensional business and all kinds of aspects of extraterrestrials, of who they are, what they look like. Uh, but those are all in other videos. So thank you and share and check out my other videos.